Hello, I'd like to show you how to pipe a board around the bottom of a cake. So I've got a um, sugar pasted cake here and I'm going to pipe shelves around the bottom. I've also got a 44 tube in a large bag. So I'm looking at the cake and it's really important that you decide which is the front of the cake and which is the back. So obviously the front of the cake is all the good parts of the cake. And if you have any blemishes, anything that's not as good as you'd like it to be, or want to hide it, um, it goes at the back. It might be the crimping, perhaps the, the finishing of the crimping needs to be at the back of the cake. Once you've decided on that, you actually turn your cake to the back and you start piping at the back. So that when you come all the way around, um, it's always difficult to fit the last shell in, so you're hiding that around the back. So I've got my bag, my piping bag, and I've got equal distance from the cake to the bag as from the board to the piping bag. And that's really important because I don't want to pipe the shells on the side of the cake and I don't want to pipe them on the board. What I do want is to pipe them into that corner. So equal distance each side. Pipe your shell and you go around. Now, as you know with shells, they need to be looked at so you pipe one you look at it if it's good you leave it if it's not your best one then take it off um, you, you're aiming to get them all equal in size and shape another reason we pipe around the bottom of a cake is to seal it so you're sealing the freshness of the cake to stop it going dry so just piping around When you come to the end, you can see I'm just keeping an eye on where the end of the, the shell is, as, um, how much room I've got. So I'm going to try and estimate. And if I need to make my shells a tiny bit smaller, then I can do, or a tiny bit bigger. I'm just going to try and get that last shell in there as neat as I can. It just needs to be tucked in. Okay. So there we are, a pipe border around a cake. Thank you.